this part 50-60%, take up to 90%, switch it off and get into the rhythm of 50-60 again. All right, don't be sloppy with that bit because it's nice chill out time. Trust me, if you keep the technique going, you'll be surprised how quick you go. Once you understand speed uh, and once you understand the movements that are involved in speed then it could cross over to the agility. So today was more about speed than the agility but if they do the drills and everything in the right way it will help their agility become better anyway. And what's got some flyers in the squad? Yeah really good. Christy yeah. Way, Joe Simpson, the list goes on. What kind of percentage do you think you could get out of them an improvement given how fast they already are? Well you, I think the key thing to remember here is that they haven't, uh, apart from maybe uh, Christian, um, they haven't been taught how to run so everybody just presumes that you just know how to run well yeah when you're back in school and you can run fast you just run but obviously to get to the Olympic level and, and world-class level there's a lot more detail in how you run so that's what I try and really pass on to these guys um, because you probably see it on the on the field they'll run at 100% when sometimes they don't need to <laughs> now if you run at 100% that means you're gonna fatigue quicker also means you're not going to recover as quickly so a lot of it's about going well if you understand about your speed and you understand how fast you are do you really need to beat that last man running at 100 percent can you beat him at 80 percent can you beat him at 90 percent and one of the big things that was speaking to them about today is once you understand how to run it slows down now fundamentally they're rugby players so it's the running slowing down becomes important because they can't just look straight ahead like a sprinter they have to look left and right so it's control of the movements and and making them aware of how they get out of different situations and able to accelerate and get back onto a rhythm and run fast. Yeah, I think just having that extra viewpoint for someone as like high up in the sprinting world as Darren come down is amazing. Uh, obviously, Tristan's been doing it with us at the moment, but just having that extra person to come in and show us the ropes uh, is, is really, really good. And you're one of our flyers anyway, but what else can you learn from someone like him in terms of tweaking the technique? Yeah, it's all, as you said, it's all about technique. It's little drills that will make you quicker, make you fast. It's little things that just will, will help you, and hopefully if you can gain three or four percent, that's, that's going to be massive in a game of rugby. We, we don't do usually drills like this, and Hopefully if we can do that and master them, we can get that extra couple of seconds maybe on, on a pitch that can get us away from defenders. How easy I make it look, they can make it look. Yeah. They will, yeah. It's just teaching them. And it's just tweaking some of the, the flyers anyway. Because they've never been taught, so if you like me trying to play rugby, it's going to be, what the hell's going on?